Ladies, can I be transparent? Okay, it seemed at a time in my life where every day I was beating myself up. I was self-sabotaging myself. Every opportunity that came, I pushed that opportunity away. I would say to myself, you're not good enough. You're not qualified. Why would you even attempt to do that thing? And then one day, I had a conversation with myself. And I said to myself, you know what, Lamont? No more. Why continue to miss out on opportunities that were created specifically for you? And that's when I discovered that I had in your way-itis. In your way-itis is when we're constantly creating roadblocks that keep us from living our best everyday life. And it was at that moment I said, no more. I'm not going to get in my way anymore. There are enough people in this world willing to throw bricks at me. I'm not going to help them. So I began to partner with myself instead of treating myself like my worst enemy. And it was then that I knew that I could live my best life. So for everyone that's listening too, you can live your best life too, just like these ladies can, and just like I decided to. This is your coach, Coach Lamont, reminding you that today is your you day. Go out and live it. I'll see you tomorrow. Getting in your own way. I feel like that's something we've all been guilty of. I know yeah, I have. Absolutely. I love that saying when someone, I've always heard when somebody they can't get out of their own mm -hmm. way. It took me a minute to think about it back in the day. Like, what does that mean? It means because mm -hmm. you're your own worst enemy sometimes. Yeah. Right, right. The visions and ideas that you have in you are expected for you to achieve them. Mm -hmm. And so oftentimes when we sit, look at ourselves, we're like, well, I can't do that. Well, there's a reason why you have that vision and your idea. You're the only one stopping you from reaching those goals. I don't have the same dreams as you, and there's a reason why God planted them in your mind. And you have to trust the process. Okay, I'm about to pr bring you back to church. <laughs> you know, I always feel like God is working. Mm -hmm. He's always doing something. We might not be able to see it, but he's working and he's shown us time and time again, at least he's shown me, that I'm going to get through the, the other side. Like in the fight, you kind of feel like, you know, I, I don't have control of this situation, but he's shown you time and time again that you can get to the other side. So yes. sometimes you have to just let the process play out, do the best that you can do with the resources that you have and know that you will get to the other side because no matter what situation you're in, you're gonna have problems. Yes. So. Uh, and you, what you think is your end goal may not be the best right. for you. Yeah, yeah. to trust the process. Yeah, that's right, right. you gotta let go. <laughs> yeah, let and go let and let God. God. That's it, that's the way it works.